Good morning, everyone. So in this video, we're going to be going over some fragrances that I received from a company that I never heard of. I never see anybody talking about. The name of this company is called Shelter in Perfume. Uh, it looks like they're based out of Portland. The name of the perfumer is Emily. And she does a really good job at being very descriptive, a very charismatic person, very energetic, uh, have a dope personality. And just a good you know, good charisma towards fragrances. The fragrances we're gonna be looking at today is Sir, Unrelenting, Falcon, and Spitfire. These are the sample sizes that she sent me. She also sent me, she sent me a card showcasing the fragrances on the back as well. So you see we got Unrelenting, Sir, Falcon, Spitfire, Lola, and Love and Bloom. I also received this neat little card here uh, showcasing the title and the name of the company, as well as a little thank you card here and a bit of a breakdown of uh, what's to be expected in the fragrances and then the fragrance answer key. So first we're gonna go ahead and Take chest out, unrelenting. This is a very sweet, airy, light, sort of subtle. It reminds me of like a, the subtlety that's in Egyptian musk, but this is not so far as the likeness of the fragrance, but just how subtle it is. But it seems like it'll have a great scent bubble anyways. Musky, like a soft, sweet, musky floral. It smells like there's maybe some fruits in there, but I can't tell exactly which ones. Hmm. Let's take a look at the notes. So this one is Wild Blooms, Classic Lipstick, and Desert Fear. Hmm. It's not bad. Like I said, it's a soft, sweet, sort of a floral. Um, kind of vibe, musky, not bad, not bad. And that's unrelenting. Next one we'll try out is Sir. We already have this one sprayed. Wow, okay. This one's really, really fresh. I was honestly expecting this one to be a lot deeper, a lot, uh, a lot more sensual. This one is still sensual, but it's super fresh, like super fresh, way more than I was actually expecting. When I smell it, I get what appears to smell like mint or like a very soft mint. I feel like I will get like bergamot. I get that woodiness from that uh, vetiver. <clears throat> I feel like there's another dry wood in here. It's kind of soft, but it's super fresh. Kind of soft, slightly soapy. So the notes for this is lime vetiver, cedar atlas heart, leather, and amber. There's a commanding, confident scent inspired by the sexy someone who takes control, who handles their business, and who's dominant, but not domineering. Energy makes you fall to your knees and say, yes, sir. Wow. So when I smell this, I get the vetiver, I get the amber, and the leather. I don't get the lime as much. I get the leather, the vetiver, and the amber. And now I get that dry cedar. That cedar that's in there, I get that. That's not bad. It's not what I was expecting for it to smell like, but it's actually not bad. It's like it's really bright, kind of creamy, really airy, and then some nice airy woods. It's not really deep or damp. Smelling is very just uh, very light, and I like that. It's pretty good. Next one is Falcon. Hmm. This one is really fresh smelling. This one smells really uplifting really fresh smelling uplifting um new it's really new smelling like something is new or fresh brand new kind of kind of vibe i will say like a new car but not like that or yeah you could say that like a new car but like the freshest airiest version of a new car smell 
add a hint of sweetness to it that's what you got and it's really nice it's a really nice smell it's different for me i probably wouldn't reach for this one as much but you know it's actually really nice description says a casual spring a coastal spring scent finally getting outside after a whole year in the house the freshest air the greenest trees and breathtaking waterfalls the lush forest and splendid waterfalls of the oregon coast it's not bad it's more so airy slightly sweet and just like the slightest the lightest aquatic tone possible and then the next one is spitfire this one's probably the most sensual and interesting one in my opinion it's deeper it's uh muskier sweeter it's got this slight gourmand quality to it i'm actually going to put a little bit more on this card because i like this one. Oh man you get you get a coffee note in this one i love 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 coffee fragrances so anytime i pick up a coffee fragrance and i can catch that coffee it's always a good time this one's like a soft sweet not bitter type of coffee this smells like a sweet residue like a sweet coffee residue mm, that's nice let's check out the notes in the description for this one the woman with opinions and those who love her you can call her spicy sassy or mouthy but the things she says are not wrong this is the cathartic release of saying everything she wanted to say without consequence this has notes of black coffee black pepper black plum, red wine, red rose, and guaiac wood. This is really beautiful. I love this one. This is probably my favorite out of all of these. It's so sensual, smooth, uh, sort of has this gourmand feel to it. Coffee, which, come on, I'm all for it. That is really nice, y'all. Like I said, black coffee, black pepper, black plum. It's such an interesting note layout. That red wine, red rose, I'm just I'm just here for it. That is a beautifully blended, well-made fragrance. I thought Sir would definitely be the one that I favored the most, but that Spitfire is the one that I like the most. Listen, those are her fragrances. Like I said, you can check out her website. I'll drop the link in the description and you can take a look at the rest of her fragrances that she has available. Uh, that is it for this video, you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys soon.